Let's welcome to the show, Gad. Thank you. El Malay. El Malay. El Malay. 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 That's what I told him. He said El Malay. I said El Malay. Yeah, there's a whole debate about my name, right? There is, right? Well, Gad is just, Um, everyone calls you Gad. No one calls you by your last name. Gad, I'm happy to see you, Jim. Good to see you, too, buddy. I see you only at night, normally. At the comedy store. Yeah, at night. It is a weird relationship you build up with comedians. It's like you just walk in and you just kind of know each other, but then you realize we've never spent any time together outside of that yeah. room. Yeah, and more than that, I cannot imagine you during the day. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because <laughs> I'm creepy and I'm fucking I'm insect-like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the light, there's too much light. Normally, yeah. it's dark. When I see you, it's dark. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> You just don't see him as a productive member of society. <laughs> and then, because generally that stuff happens during the day, like people who contribute. Yeah. yeah that's, that's not Jim. No, that's funny. It's like when you meet your neighbor, you're in a vacation someplace very far from home, and you meet your neighbor. You, you feel you know him, but you don't know him. Right. Really. It's weird because you're seeing him. Hey. hey. Then there's yeah, nothing. Nothing. Because you're seeing them out of the, your, your comfortable location. Right. Like seeing your boss in a store. <laughs> seeing it when you're a kid and you see your teacher like in the supermarket and you're like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> you know you what I mean? Like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. at the pool, the swimming pool with the bathing suit. And, right. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. You're like, I shouldn't be exposed to this. <laughs> And you're starting your tour too. Gad is really funny. Um, you, you're, uh, it's called Oh My Gad uh, U.S. Tour begins January 19th in Denver. So go to his website, which is Gad Elmala E L L M A L E H. E-L-M-A-L-E-H it's okay, you know. I'm used to com. it. I know, but people got to know how to get to it. You want By the way, at the cellar, every night the host they ask me how do you say your name. So I tell them one second before they go on stage, and they screw up my name every, every night. time. <laughs> every time. Does that drive you crazy? That like. You've packed out like arenas. Yeah. And then you come here and the guy at the cellar doesn't know how to pronounce your name. No, the guy here, guys, at the security didn't let me in today. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why would they say? I don't know. I, they said, are you sure we don't have your name? How do you say your last name? I'm sorry. Show me your ID. That never happens in France, but it's very humbling. I like that. Because we were talking. <laughs> yeah, you, you moved here. Yeah. That's crazy. Because we were talking before you came in about how that, like, ego builds up and when you feel like you're not getting treated the way you're supposed to be treated like you can go into a rage very easily and no. i would i would imagine that for you like the, the these instances where in not just france but many other countries yeah you'd be treated like an a-list celebrity you come here and they're like yeah your name's not in the system so i don't think you're <laughs> i don't think you're supposed <laughs> but to be it's here good. i like that you do yeah i like that oh not with not with girls i mean with girls it's it's a problem you know <laughs> it is right yeah. it's the, the thing i like i was in la a few weeks ago i was in a bar and i was talking to a girl an american girl and she was not very eh, interested and then a bunch of french people walked in the bar mm-hmm. they asked me for pictures and autographs and she got so interested yeah and she came back to me and she said can i buy you a drink Oh, great. really? Yeah. <laughs> but isn't that great, though? Like, a lot of people would go, see, you should show her or not do it. But it's like, no, fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, We're going to seal yeah. this deal now. It's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Funny. That's what, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need that. I need that because I physically, I don't have a whole lot to go on. So they're never going to look at me and go, like, wow. So it's always like, whatever it is that gets you in the door is all that matters. No, absolutely. Think, yeah, but I think the thing is the challenge and to start over is really interesting for me. It's a personal thing. It's not only about stand up, it's just starting over, you know? Going to the cellar, as Jim said, you know, every night trying bits in English, struggling with the language, trying to make people laugh, earning those laughs because they don't know me, they have no idea. And by the way, the, but when, when, when some French people come to the cellar, it's, it's okay, but I'm not that happy because, you know, I go and say, no, no, no. I'm like, no, please, let me just earn, yeah. earn those. Let me make those American laughs. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's very, very different, too, to try to get laughs now because part of it is that you go on stage in front of an audience that knows who you are and they're just excited to see you. So they're ready to laugh and they're ready yeah, to, but, and, and, but when you go in front of an audience that doesn't know who you are, you don't, you haven't had that in years. No, but okay. You know, it's the same thing. I mean, you, 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 you know, Jim, when some big names show up at the cellar, Chris Rock, Louis CK, Jerry Seinfeld, when they go on stage, the first 30 seconds, it's, it's a madness in the room, but no matter what, who you are and how famous right after those 30 seconds, if you don't give them, it's <laughs> on you. Man, yeah, <laughs> that's and they even even more more how you say sorry uh, rude with you if if you're not, not doing good if you're if you're because they have expectations of course yes yeah. Chris course. Rock always has a very funny line he'll the the second he walks on he's like lower your expectations <laughs> and he gets a laugh and then he kind of just tells him he's going out of his notebook but yeah I know what you're saying like you 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 don't you're so famous in a lot of other places that you wanted to come here and just 
and, and like uh, just see, okay, let me see what my stuff does here. The fact that you're doing it in another language is amazing to me. Yeah, and also learning. To be honest with you, I'm uh, watching those guys, watching them uh, working and trying bits and, and bombing sometimes and redoing it again. And th this is a new, total new experience to me, you know? Yeah. And obviously you don't do that for money because, as you know, this is not where people make money in clubs. Right. You don't do it for fame or uh, glory and because for really because that's my i've been doing stand-up for 22 years now that's funny the other day one of my good friends came to the cellar i said oh only one year and you do stand-up i said no <laughs> no <laughs> one year in new york but i've been doing this for 22 years all over europe yeah that's so <laughs> why did you move to new york i think it was such a ballsy move like i would never leave my comfort because zone because i that. felt trump was going to be elected <laughs> yeah, and I, yeah. knew, I knew, I knew, guys. The country was gonna be something sexy and yeah. more. I knew it. You were the one guy who was like, "If Trump gets elected, I'm moving to the I, U.S. That's right. I'm yeah. leaving France. I'm, I'm leaving coming France. To the I'm going to the U.S. <laughs> yeah, so you got I got to be a part of this. We're yeah. gonna be great again. Yeah, great. I thought it was great, already great, and now it's even. That's great. That's great. <laughs> no, I think it's the challenge. Really, it's the challenge. I love my life in Paris, and I have my family and everything, but, you know, I need this challenge. I want to do stand-up. We don't have clubs in, in, in France. That's what I was going to ask, what the, what the comedy industry is like in France and Europe. You know, the comedy world is so different. We have one comedy club created by a very famous uh, comedian named Jamel Debouze, and um, he did this, and this is the only place where comedians can go and work out some material. So is but it very competitive there? To get on? Yeah, yeah, but they have shows. Even even if they're not big names, they have their own shows. An hour, an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, but like, to, to be honest with you, I think there are more uh, here. Oh, shit, the word in English. Carol is going to tell me. Exigeant? Wow. She got demanding? Demanding. Demanding. The, demanding. the audience here. The audience is more demanding here. I like here. that. Yeah. I like they're, that. They're more likely to, to really let you know if you're not doing well here. Yeah. Than in, oh, yeah. There's less politeness. And especially here in New York and especially at the cellar. Some nights I was like, wow, man, you're going to go home, you're going to have a glass of red wine, and work on your shit. Yeah, it's really yeah. weird how many nights you'll walk off at the cellar and go, I fucking stink at this. I'll walk upstairs sometimes. But does, and go, does, does this happen to you? Um, all the time. Tell me, the, honestly, all the time. Honestly, all the time. He's killing it there. All the time He's I walk like up the, the steps. But really, you, all the time. And you've been doing it how long? 26 years. So 12, 26 years in, you leave some nights going like, this isn't for me? We had a conversation. I'd like had, to hear that, man. We had a conversation the night about, like, how long does it take you? It was like Damien Lemon and Mike Yard and a bunch of us. How long does it take you to feel like you really know what you're doing? And it's like, on a paper, like, you know, 22 years, you know what you know what you're doing. But, like, after a bad set, it doesn't feel like you know what you're doing. You're like, I couldn't get them. I don't know what I'm doing. Because if I knew what I was doing, I would have gotten them. And right. I couldn't. So this, yeah, the seller is great because they don't they don't give a fuck who's on stage. If you're not what they want at that moment, they don't necessarily scream at you, but you know, like, Ugh, I and shit the bed. Part of that is because even like somebody like you, who's well known, well, who's known in the U.S. Well, you know, yeah, not, <laughs> not in France. We don't know this guy. No, who is he? <laughs> we have no but, idea. But like the seller doesn't necessarily like they'll post on their website, but the audience for the seller is not necessarily like, oh, we're coming to see this comedian. No, they just go and say, oh, there's there's good comedy. That they're hoping for Jerry or Louis, right? Because no, they know that those guys want for there. him. We don't know when he performs there. They have no idea. <laughs> They have no idea. I just kind of come in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't put my name on the list because a lot no. of times I'm not there. His yeah. name is Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Mustafa who worked there. Oh, really? Yeah, he was a, He was my favorite door guy ever. He was a fucking... He would, he would actually just... Uh, if anybody was talking, he would walk over and go, Shh, shut the fuck up. And he would throw them out. He no, was but it's great. legendary for throwing people no, out. By the by the way, that, that that's great. You know, when you perform, when you try things, you don't want to, you don't want your your material to go on on the internet an hour uh, after that. And also, it's not a good uh, atmosphere when they do that. So yeah. I, I like it. I like it when they 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 you know they're rude with people and like don't film, don't do this. In France, it's so. I mean, they do it and they film. They do the everything. Whole thing. Yeah, you can't yell. At, you don't really yell at the audience in France. Uh yeah. A little bit. I mean, you know, it's again. I think the, this thing to improvise and crowd work, you have to come up with good things because yeah. if you go with the easy and the cheap things, we all all done so many things and tried things with the crowd. But you need to be very point. You, I don't know the word, but you know, precise. It's, yes, it's like doing jo jokes on Trump right now. 
Right. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, you have to come up with the very funny uh, joke about Absolutely. Trump. Because everything has been done. Try it. Saying the stupid thing, the, oh, he's stupid, and he's... A... No, come up with crazy thing. The opposite. I don't know. Do something creative. Right. I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of those jokes like, oh, he's stupid, he's not... He's not... Okay. It's the, it is the same point of view. Because you've heard it. Uh, from everybody. Yeah. When the point... Of, like, when as soon as somebody opens their mouth, if you know exactly where... It's like, ugh. Yeah. And by the way, maybe that's a premise for something. Maybe uh, I said it just like that, but maybe I could work on something like I knew Trump was going to be elected. That's why I moved. I was about to say, I think that's funny when you said that. Yeah. I'm, and and, and then, I was like, there's one. There's not that many funny Trump jokes left, but that was, yeah. <laughs> you know. There are three, I think. I, 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 got, I got to Do you do it. any political stuff? A uh, little, not a lot. When I'm in France, more, obviously, but you right. know, not, not yet. Not, not, not. Because I feel like, you know, like, like with The Daily Show now, like that's what has hindered. Trevor Noah is that you know you criticize American politics which is what the show was always about but people don't necessarily want to see American politics get criticized by someone with an accent yeah it really does fucking people get really annoyed is it a tip that you're giving me right now well you said you don't do that I don't but if you did do that I never do that (laughs) (laughs) I never do that I think America is great and it's a big opportunity for me as a French Moroccan (laughs) Jew to be able to perform every night in that wonderful country. <laughs> yeah, after all the success worldwide. I can do the army, anything you want. <laughs> yeah, it is funny when guys come over. And polit- political stuff is great, but some, some guys are fucking, like they just stand there and harp on it for like 20 minutes. It's so funny just to watch the crowd go, ugh. I, I want to yeah. ask you something that I ask to every comedian. I, I, I was very surprised. So those guys, when they go on stage at the cellar, do you know before you're set exactly what you're going to do? I have an idea, but I like to try to work out. If, I, if I'm doing an the, hour... The order, not an hour, like I said, 15 minutes, you go on. Well, if I'm doing it for an hour on the road, I'll pull a few minutes out and try to work on it. So some nights I know I'm working on the opening, so I know I'm going to open. But no, a lot of times I don't. It's very boring just to do the first 10 minutes in a row of my road act. Nobody wants yeah. to hear that. So I try to mix up things that need work. It's like, you know, I just pull out little pieces that I think need a line fixed, and I try them there. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, because it gets too boring. Plus, I the crowd know. half the time isn't enjoying what I'm doing, so I'm like, all right, switch gears. It's <laughs> too dirty. But with the language, um, I have to do this boring thing, and I know exactly what I'm going to do. Boom, 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 number one, two, three, four. Sometimes I step Oh, because you kind of have to choreograph what you're doing. Yeah, because, for yeah. now. Maybe in one year from now with the English, you would, it's going to be better. But you do an hour on the road. So yeah. like, if you're starting in Denver, you do, he's doing Carnegie Hall, February 11th. Yeah. So if you're doing those, are you doing them in English and partially French or all oh, English? No, no, all in English. All English. And I know because I've, I, I, they're, they're a lot of uh, expats from not only from France, uh, from you know Morocco because my I was born in Morocco, Morocco, Algeria, Le- Lebanese people. A lot of uh, expats, immigrants, they come to see my shows. I put a few things, accents, references, not a lot, but the show is mainly in English, obviously. Yes. So I've never been. I want to go to Paris. I never want to go. I, I always think they're going to hate Americans, so I never go. No, that's not true. Like just on the. Sh- you mean like as far as performing, or they're just no, walk no, no, around. just to visit. I'm no, not I know, so I you think you're going to be walking on the street? And the, the Parisians are gonna hate you? No, but I've just heard that in, <laughs> like, res- in restaurants that they don't like Americans. On you no, no, no. But there's heard... one street. I'll, I'll tell you what street it is. <laughs> what street? But I don't know. Oh, okay, so <laughs> it's uh, like the la- Boulevard de l'Amérique. No, but um, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, American comedians come now to France, and it's a good thing that uh, American get to travel. And uh, I think Louis C.K. came uh, last uh, summer. I heard Jim Gaffigan wants to come to do a stand-up. A lot of, you know, you should come. You should come to Paris. Um, I also said to Noam, the comedy seller owner. Comedy seller, uh, owner, we should do this thing they do now for fashion, for clubs, pop-ups, right? The yeah, pop-up. sure, sure. We should do pop-up comedy seller in Paris, Berlin, Tel Aviv. That's actually a cool idea. It would be cool. And so you bring a bunch of comics. They know each other. They're always working together at the cellar. And then, boom, we do the, the show. And you Comedy know? Cellar has become a, a brand. A brand yeah. Especially because after like after Louis and after all these different things that went all over the world, people I, know I about really the Comedy Cellar. I really want to do this cellar. in Paris. Like, like, the, the pop-up Comedy Cellar. And bring like five, six comics and have like a week or I don't know, three, four days in a club. And that would be the comedy seller of Paris. Would I want to do, do it on the road, but not take, no, I don't want to get Noam's permission. I just want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to use the name on the road. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is. That, that's not, that probably would work. But uh, 
you know, the the comedy style is weird. It's it's kind of become like the improv used to be like years ago. Like with the improv was the reference, like the Where, New York LA. improv. Oh, New York. Just everywhere, the New York improv was the, was the movie reference for comedy. Yeah. And now it seems like it's the seller because yeah. the improv left so many years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's the place. So I have you. Have you gotten into uh, uh, spots here where people don't really know who you are and then they do something like check your Twitter account or something and realize, yeah, like, oh, I got, shit. I, I got this every day, but those spots are everywhere. That's, yeah. that's the whole... The do you whole watch thing. as people, like, kind of shift in their behavior yeah. as they realize, like, oh, yeah, I should know who this uh, is? And yeah, and I don't like it. You I don't? Just, no, because I'm... As as soon as I land here in New York City, I kind of relax and, you know, I, you know, I see people, they... It's natural. It's 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 not fake. I like it, and you know it's it, it's cool. Yeah, obviously, when you someone asks you, okay, I'm gonna follow you on Twitter, and he sees I have six point five million, it's like who? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you? And here's yeah. how you know he's got a lot. Of, he's got six point seven million. Oh, six. You actually just missed two hundred thousand. No, yeah. that, that, that's because of this show we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we just got two hundred thousand guys. That's a lot. Yeah, but yeah. That, it's that's funny to be so famous. Just like oh yeah. Be so famous that you want to just kind of relax and come to New York and blend in and just build. That's a, that's a yeah. really interesting. Thing Are you to worried do. though? What if what if you become very famous in America? No, this is gonna be terrible. Now everybody's gonna bother you. It's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> it is right. No, no, no. I'm good like this. I'm not looking for that. I'm just want to work on my act. I want to do stand up. I want to do. No, no. I I don't know. We'll see. Um, it seems yeah. like everything's coming together right now because, like Jim just said, you have the tour. Coming up, you're going to tour pretty much all through January. Yeah. And then uh, end the tour at Carnegie Hall. But you've also moved here and you got a Netflix special. Yeah. Coming out on the 24th of January. So, like, you talked about, like, the, the, the people who are here that know you from other countries, from Paris, from Morocco, from whatever. If they show up to Carnegie Hall, are they going to be disappointed that you're speaking in English? Oh no no no! They know exactly what I'm doing, and uh, that's funny because. But but it's interesting what you're mentioning right now because I've done shows in French um, in the past mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> I would put some English in my shows, and expats were like, "Oh, don't speak English." <laughs> they were shocked. No no no! And I even have a joke about that at uh, the opening of my shows. I say bonsoir. In, mm -hmm. in French, and then I say that's it for French. That's it. That's, that's, yeah. that's it. And they go, oh no, no, come on, French people. I'm trying to work on a new project, blah blah blah, and have jokes about it. They know it's in English, and the interesting thing, they're kind of supportive uh, for this project for me, yeah. my fans from other countries. No, no, it's it's um it's fun. It's fun. Comics respect it just because the the balls it takes. Yeah. To say, right, I'm going to leave this place where I'm doing you know fucking a Friday Saturday shows in an arena. And come here and just kind of build. It's like th yeah, th that's such an artistic thing to do, and it's not for money. It's it, no, it's no. given up a it's lot. It's a personal challenge, really. Last week was really, really strange, funny, bizarre. I I really, literally, I performed in Bercy, which is like Madison Square Garden here. It was twelve thousand people on on Saturday night. Then I flew, uh, and Sunday, and I flew here. You did on, two nights. On two ni eight nights. By eight way. nights. Yeah, eight nights. But did eight what? nights. Eight, eight nights at the I 12, can't get concert yeah. tickets eight nights in a row. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can't I'm, get tickets to know, watch. I can, <laughs> I can brag. I can brag a little bit to, to this morning. Yeah, I did eight nights, and then I flew on the Monday uh -huh. to New York, uh -huh. and I <laughs> jumped in a cab, and I went to the cellar. <laughs> And I did a set in front of and 100 people. Right, and you're trying to win them over, just and not I sure. Was like, like, hey. I was like, they don't love me yet. <laughs> I want to earn. And this. it's really interesting. I was so into, you know, it's, it's, it's a, and you know, comedy, we are crazy. Last night I was saying to this, uh, to Ryan Hamilton, he's a good friend, great comic, and I see him every night and. I was watching people say, we are crazy. We mm -hmm. are crazy. We're doing a crazy job every day, starting over every day, asking, uh, worrying, the doubt, and coming back. And cr I don't know. That's. Uh, Do you feel like yeah. you start over every day? Yeah, yeah, really. really. That's cra that you, is crazy. You, you, you never feel really good about yourself. Like You could feel great about yourself, and then it's one shit set, and you're like, oh, yeah, they're right. I'm garbage. Now, it just confirms it. Do you kind of, knowing that, if you have a good set, is there something in you that stops you from fully enjoying it because you know tomorrow it might not be good? Mm, I enjoy a good set. You, you, no, I do, you, you can't enjoy I do. it. Yeah, it feels good. I know when it was good, and you feel great. Yeah, You're like, yeah, that was good. Because that's how, like, like when we're doing the show. Even if we have a good, what, eventually when we have a good show. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> I mean, we're never happy to be honest because I enjoy a good set when it's the last one. Yeah. 
but also I'm pumped and I'm like, I want to do another one. Right. And I also, I don't know, that's, we don't know. We don't know what we want, right? Yeah. If it's one day you feel good, I say we want piece uh, of shit. people to laugh. We want girls sitting next to us at the, the club. Right? Yeah. So I would imagine, though, for you, like, you don't need to be famous. Like, in America, doesn't your French... I don't need to be here. Did, but... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't need to be with you this morning. Yeah, I don't need this. Took me 45 minutes to come uptown. The guy uh, downstairs doesn't even know my name. He butchered my name, asked me twice for my ID. I come and I see this guy I can see f for free every night. It really is Tim fucking... Norton. That's, this is the crazy part. This whole experience yeah. of the morning and doing all this, that's the it's crazy the ID part. Twice. Now, in France, if that happened, they know you. You wouldn't have a, a show your ID No. Twice. I mean, you know what You just did 100,000 people and then went back no, to the I cellar. Mean, you, there's something very funny, and I think it's dangerous also. When I come home, when I get there in Paris at the airport, I swear, I'm not exaggerating just to make, uh, make up the... I give my passport to the customs. Almost nine times out of ten, they go like, ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> what? That's my passport. I'm from no. Damn, okay, it's okay. We know. It's okay. We know. We know. <laughs> now, now, are you single or do you date different women? Um, um. Okay, I didn't understand the dating process in America, but uh, dating is I see different women every. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is dating? Is dating? Yeah, yeah. I'm single. That's right. Good. That's the best. I'm way single. To date. That's the, you know being single in New York City. Is it great? Wow. Are you single? Yeah, but not for the same reasons you are. I'm not single because I have my pick of amazing women. I'm just, I can't get anybody to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Again, you want to know how single... On tour, he's going to go back on tour, he's going to be... You want to know how single Jim is? No, tell me. He told me what he did last night, which is he went to a restaurant by himself oh, and brought that. a newspaper and read it with his cell phone flashlight. It was dim. The lighting's dim. I'm older. <laughs> I have my fucking iPhone. I'm reading my newspaper with my iPhone. That's single. That's old yeah. man. That That's, uh, is that's single. a comedian. That's a comedian life. <laughs> you know what I did yesterday? What? I stayed at home the whole day waiting for my set at night. That's it. That's crazy. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. <laughs> Writing, correcting things, trying not to do something else because maybe it's going to distract, sidetrack me. Really? A little um, scared of maybe not be ugh, crazy. The cold, in bed, writing and waiting. Like and how it. long of a set are you doing? Like how long of a set did you 15, do last night? Right? What do you mean? 15 minutes at the like set? Yeah, 15 minutes is a set, yeah. For so everyone. You, no, so no, like, yeah, and I do three, four, depends. You okay. Know? But and you just sit night, there waiting. Yeah, and last night there was... Uh, also, that's a new experience for me because I'm doing sometimes talk shows, whatever, and they come and they want to see the set before and they want the script and they want the video. I It's new to me. Yeah. I mean, in Paris, if someone say to me, give me your script, I say, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> give me your ID. Give me, no, I mean, this is... But it's okay. You, you need to be humble. So this girl came last night from Colbert because I'm going to be doing that show next week. Uh -huh. And I gave my script, video, <laughs> sound. They came see it live twice. They said, are we going to come back? But it's good. I'm working. But you know? it's got to be almost like a goof to you at this point. Like, that's got to be a, kind of funny. What is goof? Like, a goof, joke. it's like, like a silly. joke. Oh, yeah. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. You're like, do you know how no, much? I don't I, you don't need that. to do Colbert. Okay, you don't. I want to do Colbert. I know you want to, but you don't need it. <laughs> like you don't need to prove to any talk show. You, I don't want to prove. You got 6.7 million on Twitter. Yeah, but I want to be on the talk show in America. Right. With that, uh, yeah. It right. is funny how they and this all shows do it. They overly prepare you for stuff. Mm -hmm. They obsess over every word and every joke. And it's like let the natural let, let it. If the guy's funny and you see a set, then go all right, he's funny. Then you let him just go up and do his six minutes, whatever it is. Same so, in live. It's taped. Like right. you know, worst case scenario. I think sometimes they should let go a little bit. Every talk show, not not only in 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 America, everywhere, everywhere. TV are you know they're stressed. They're very uh, so. I think it's good if they let go. But you know, I would say yes to anything right now. I'm not in a position where obviously you're here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so a year from now he won't come up into the show. So I'll tell me what's going on here. I saw many little uh, houses here. It's like a massage uh, thing. You yeah. Can, you, there's a lot of cabin, right? <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's what we call them. <laughs> a lot of little places to go in and get jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. Yeah, which basically every every radio station you could imagine is up here. The hip hop station's next door. Entertainment Weekly's on that side. This one I listen all the time because I'm a very a, a big uh, Frank Sinatra uh, a oh. fan. And there's a one called Seri Simply Seriously Sinatra. Seriously, seriously yeah. Sinatra. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you don't even want to like they do all the Seriously Sinatra in like a little like closet 
<laughs> down the hall. It's really not it's all romantic. It's voice tracking. Yeah. It's tiny. <laughs> you don't want to. It's you not pre recorded. You would think that not the live. Sinatra thing is like people hanging out with champagne. Nothing. And no. no. Cigar. It's all fake. No. It's all fake. <laughs> all fake. It's yeah. a guy with sound effects in a so tiny now, little so room. So now this show is every day? Yeah, Monday Our show through is Friday. every day. Yeah. Then you're here every day. Yeah, Monday through Friday. Okay. 8 to 11. Okay. Yeah, every morning. Okay. That's why I go on early at the cellar when I show up because it's just. I have to get so, up. So yeah, what do you? Yeah, you cannot go out really uh, after your sets. Yeah, I try not to. I'm, I just every now and then. Where do, where do you live? I'm on uh, the east side in the twenties. Okay, okay. Swim Manhattan. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I live in Tribeca. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Isn't your like? Because you were talking before about like women like changing their vibe. That woman in L.A. who totally changed her vibe after you saw her, she saw oh, yeah. you. By the way, did you hook up with her? People? Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Well yeah. worth it. Well done. Yeah. yeah but I would good. think that the accent does enough to get the job done more often than not. No, doesn't but you it? Know, I I did more than that. I I I how you say signed up on the dating app Tinder. No, another one. Very, very... Grinder? No. Raja? Oh. Raya. 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 Yeah, Raya's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I strike out <laughs> fucking horribly on Raya. I'm on Raya, and I, I literally, I'm like... I, I so? Th- nothing. What do you mean nothing? I talk to them, <laughs> but they, they, they Google me, and I'm finished. That's happened to me a bunch of times. Here's the problem. He's very, he's okay, very open about his no, stories. Jim, no, Jim. Uh, listen, I have the opposite. Yeah? They Google me, and then they call me. Right. See, what For you, him, it's the they opposite. Google him... <laughs> and they go, oh, this guy's and trash. <laughs> He's garbage. <laughs> he likes to tell stories about what he does in his personal know, life, and they come back. To, they come back to haunt him. I know. I know the stories. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raya's got the hottest girls though. When you go to Raya, because you have to be invited. I mean, you know, based on picture, you never met any of them. <laughs> no, I think I met one. And we, we actually had a nice date. We went out. I had wanted to date her for a while. Did you bring the paper. What's that? Did you bring the newspaper? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was it was a nice little date though, but uh, we no, only went out once. But wait, I, I I do that really often. I go and have dinner by just me alone by myself. That's okay. You don't do it. No, that? I don't mind that. But That's bringing the, the news- flashlight thing, bringing the newspaper and the flashlight it's is dim. really bad. That's it's dinner creepy. time. That's, That's really bad. Yeah. But I have That's to read really the bad. paper. It's very dim. They have it. They had mood light, mood lighting for the yeah. But if night. you go by yourself, you don't go in a very dim and and ambiance thing, atmosphere like that. But right, no? there's no reason for it. Romantic. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted the romantic night. You I wanted, did. You know, he wanted to romance Ro- himself. Romance yeah. himself. I just with took the myself out. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, went that's, home, uh, that's masturbation. That's right. romance. That auto romance. <laughs> he went he, home. He lit some candles. Yeah. Then he started jerking off. Yeah. yeah. The little, memory of my little dinner. Present, little present. Little yeah. present for him. Some chocolates. Oh, yeah. Look what I got to me. For me. Yeah. <laughs> some chocolates. Yeah. Little scarf. <laughs> I, I will say this. One of the hottest girls I've ever seen. Yeah. I like this. Was with you. At the comedy cellar one. Really? Night. You might have just been friends with her. I don't even know who she was. But last you... night. No, no, no. This is a couple months ago. Oh, Sunday? I wasn't there last night. <laughs> you mean Saturday? <laughs> Different girl every night. It was she was fucking stunning. But he didn't say anything because he doesn't talk to people at the cellar, Jim. He he's does... very socially awkward. Nah, he's he doesn't want to talk to people. No, he I talk to the I said the he comic run, He runs, he goes on stage and he runs. He I've been to, walks I've... very fast. I've right? been to parties with him. So? Very socially awkward. Yeah. Very and awkward. Doesn't talk to people. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, doesn't That's too talk. bad. He's uh, smart. He's an uh, interesting character. But... He likes to remain a mystery. No, though. I never think people want to talk to me. So I, I sit down. I sit <laughs> oh. at the table all the time, and I never want to bother people imposing myself. Really? Yeah. So I just this is not what we think when we see you. Oh yeah, no. I what love, do you think? I love all the guys this are. I think he doesn't want to talk to us. Right. He's right. too much in his thing, and he has so many things to do, and. Is no, that's no, it. and then he ends up alone in the little deem yeah restaurant. With but the I always sit. There's a comedian's table. I always sit at the comics table. Mm-hmm. I don't sit there. Yes, yeah, see, I'm, that's sometimes. I'm I, always there. It, just, there's a little I table. Get, in the I corner. get a little nervous when I sit there. Do you? It's just you know, it's you know, I don't know. Do they know who the fuck you are? No, it's just the the, the language. It goes so fast, oh. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I prepared what I'm doing right now. I prepared it the whole night. Let's all script it. What I'm yeah, I, I, Since we, I got here, it's all scripted. We, our producers asked you for a script before you came in. Yeah. Here's the questions. We need your yeah. answer. This one's not good. Yes. We need- We're going to tease Jim for being lonely uh, yeah, at 1030. Yeah. And then- <laughs> I, think, I think that Gad is uh, taking full advantage of... of uh, of the women here in in America, I think, think that so? is. I think you're doing very well with women. This right. woman, that's what my about, theory. What about you? Do I'm you? married. 
You're married. She, married. He, he's she, doing really well. His wife has made a terrible choice, but he's, <laughs> he's doing, she's smoking. Yes, I'm married. She's pregnant, the whole thing. It's over she's for me. Preg- she, yeah. she was pregnant before? Before we got married, yeah, yes. Right, before, okay. yeah. 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 I met her. She was pregnant. I married her. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, I inseminated. That could be one of his jokes. We're going on his. <laughs> I inseminated my wife. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. I impregnated her. Yeah, and now it's she's my listening. Child. Yeah, yeah, but and uh, you're divorced. <laughs> oh, you got a uh, no, no? Yeah, I'm married for real. Wow. Yeah, so I'm not single. I'm Carol, just... Carol is gonna get married in a few months, right? You are? Yeah, Carol uh, works with me. She's is from she France. a publicist or is she? Yeah, she's uh, my my left hand. Oh, okay. Left arm. Sometimes my right hand. No, that's strange. She said he. Comment tu dis, Madame Andre, en mariage? Whoa. He You're proposed. asking me? Oh, he no. proposed. <laughs> <laughs> so he proposed, and then he said, "We're going to get married in two years from now." What do you think about that? Well, I I, I would have said ten. <laughs> <laughs> two years is okay, though. It's a nice long. I think engagement. I did. A, I think I did a year and nine months. I think it did. It I mean, pretty close to two years. Propose, a year and nine months. This is like something you want, energy, and you're in love, and you want. But to you know. got to plan. You got to the timing. You got to do a whole bunch of stuff. You have to, it really takes a lot to get married. You know? know, you have to invite people. You have to plan the whole event. You have to do. There's a lot to do, right? So you I give never, yourself a couple I never years. Got married. I have two kids, but I've never been. Plus, married. Plus, she's worried. Of, she's got to do everything for you. What do you mean? Like she's got oh, to be your right. right hand and your left hand yeah. and everything. <laughs> so she got yeah. So yeah, she's yeah. got to sit there and like when I have time, I'll try to plan a wedding. But it's going to take two years with Gad's schedule. I'm just a little. I don't like people who I work with when they get married and all that. Because they got an outside life. Yeah. You don't like yeah. that. You like to be like, totally, I don't like that. Yeah, no. yeah I don't like that. What There's enough going on with Gad. Her, her own place, apartment. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you are. Where's your priorities? Boyfriend. Yeah. What is this? You said you were working with me. <laughs> so you got an assistant. You, you. So now, do you now when you have an assistant? Do they know? They know so much about your personal life. Yeah. Like, that's what always. Scares me, Why, but you don't have me. one. No. Why? Because uh, she was just too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no. You're not the assistant type. I don't know. I probably I should like have one. Be, yeah, I would like to. <laughs> so this could be a disgusting be job. Assistant. Yeah. Yeah. Would, yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that'd be a fun job. My assistant will have a hazmat suit. <laughs> no, it just it scares me to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I actually haven't done. It. I probably should because there's so many things that I fuck up and forget. Like it's, it's it's like I always felt like I'm not at that point in my career where I need one. Mm-hmm. But there's just a lot of things I make mistakes with it I probably should you know just to just for so I don't fuck things up it, it helps to have one but the yeah. girl I don't I don't I don't want to bother you when you're with her like I don't fuck with people when they're with a girl because I don't want to annoy them or be in, annoying or like you know oh she was which like, oh, I don't even remember it was months was, ago he oh. don't get is just like I know turning them over yeah. I know I just no 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 I mean Respect the woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I need—a nice French girl. Is that what you're looking yeah, for? Nice oh, French I can. Girl. Oh, yeah. You think I mean, you can hook that up? Yeah, yeah, really. I bet you can. Just give me just a few jokes in English. Right. That's it. That's it. Train jokes for girls. <laughs> that's, right. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> will she be deal. disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you'll notice she unfollows you on Twitter. Like, what? That fucking guy was weird. <laughs> it's terrible. Who's this guy? Well, listen, we're out of time. That's the Our show. Our show is over. That's the show. That's the show. That's a good time. I'm happy. It's, you just uh, experienced the whole thing. Yeah. Well, Gad is a really, really funny stand-up. Yeah. Um, I have seen you on stage, and you're and you're really good. Gad and... will be at, at Gotham on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you're in New York, go to Gotham Comedy Club this Wednesday. And then uh, the Oh My Gad U.S. tour Begins January 19th in Denver, Colorado, and it wraps up February 11th at Carnegie Hall. Tickets are available at Gad Elmale. E-L-M-A-L-E-H. Google Gad Comedian. It's very easy to find. Yeah, yeah, it should be GadComedian.com. Never been to Denver. How is Denver? Awesome. Yeah. Really? Awesome. Yeah, it's a great crowd. It, you, the elevation is 5,000 feet, so everybody's like, the, they, they smoke pot there. It's, it's <laughs> a lot of pot. They no, really are. are. They're all, amazing legal. crowds. Oh, it's legal. It's legal in Denver. So a lot of pot. Are you doing the comedy works? Uh, no, I don't know. Theater? The, yeah, theater, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a great, great place. You'll, you'll awesome. do excellent there. And then uh, he's wrapping up February 11th at Carnegie Hall. So it's it's a short tour, a lot of yeah. great rooms, and Gad's a really funny act. I, I love what you so doing, much. Yeah, I'm at this hour um, almost every uh, weekend. So merci, merci beaucoup, and uh, gracias. Yes, gracias, yeah, yeah, yes, and, yes. Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, Spanish. wow, okay, sure, grazie. sure. And, um, um, yeah, so Google Gad and uh, find out all about him if yeah. you don't already know. 
Um, and you could follow him on Twitter, but he's got like 6.7 million. He so. won't notice you. He's not going to notice. <laughs> yeah. He won't notice you. He's not going to answer your fucking Guys, questions. I think I'm going to come back on that show. I want to come back. Yeah, come back When anytime. I'm in New York, I just come five minutes and say hi. Whatever you want. Come back wait, in any time. You're a good time. And every time I come back with a different girl. I would yeah. like that. Oh, yes. A lot. Oh, yes. Really? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be fine. Uh, dude, she was, she was yes. so pretty. Okay, she was I depressing. Have, okay, I have an idea. I yeah. What do you think about that? Hey, oh, I have... <laughs> That's He's the what? Travis dog. That's Travis dog. Man, oof, 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 oof. <laughs> Man, you've been... That's Travis I'm dog. I'm sorry. I, it's fine. I'm not here to be... No, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I didn't... <laughs> oh, you're just sorry because I'm... Just yeah, because he's Travis myself. Dog. How are you? I'm Gad. I'm good. I'm Travis. <laughs> Travis Dog. You lost your train of thought. You were going to bring some French girls here, and then no, you got distracted by Travis Dog. I have an idea. Carol, how do you say rubrique? Uh, segment? A uh, little uh, 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 a segment? A segment, yes. Okay, I, we could, okay, this is my idea. You, you tell me. Maybe okay. you do a meeting with production and everything. Travis Dog is the production, so this is the meeting. Sometimes I show up, and we do this five minutes with a French girl. Mm -hmm. I bring a French girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Just bring this girl. I'm sure. And we have a conversation. I know the bit we could do. What's the bit? I give her oral sex and she tells me if I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's idea. That's actually great. That's, <laughs> that sounds like it could work. I no. just, I just, I've just been unfollowed by 250,000 <laughs> yeah. people in France. If you want to bring a French girl up here to introduce her to Jim, I would love that. Man, that would be so funny. It would be hilarious. Okay, let's let's, let's do, do it. Okay, let's do this. One day I come. We'll and figure I do, it out. We'll uh, do it uh, soon. Uh, uh, whole, uh, I'm so bad at that, too. No, it's, oh, it's, it's going to be bit. great. It's going to yeah. be great. It'll be fun. The hookup, the hookup, we say? Hookup. Hook up. Yeah, we'll yeah. hook up Jim with a French girl. Okay, yeah. Travis, you would prepare a little, yeah, uh, little we'll jingle or something. Of course. Very French music with the accordion yeah. voice. Hook up moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we that's have that. Exactly yeah. what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, there you go. <laughs> oh. Recording done. <laughs> Big budget. <laughs> yeah, guys, thank it. you so much for having me. Thank, thank you, you guys. Bye-bye. Au revoir. That's, and, uh, that's us. Uh, I'll be at the Tarotine Music Hall New Year's Eve. That's my last show of the tour. And uh, thank you to everybody who's been coming out to these sh warm-up shows. It's been an amazing uh, last month. Demanding? Demanding. Demanding. The, demanding. The audience here. The audience is more demanding and I like here. That. Yeah. I like they're, that. They're more likely to, to really let you know if you're not doing well here. Yeah. Than oh, in, yeah. There's less politeness. And especially here in New York and especially at the cellar. Some nights I was like, wow, man, you're going to go home, you're going to have a glass of red wine, <laughs> and work on your shit. <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah. weird how many <laughs> nights you'll walk off at the cellar and go, I fucking see. Stink at this. I'll walk upstairs sometimes. But that's and go, does, hap does this happen to you? Um, all the time. Tell me the, honestly, all the time. Honestly, all the time. He's killing it there. Over all the time there. I He's walk like up the, the steps. But really, you all the time. And you've been doing it how long? 26 years. So 12, 26 years in, you leave some nights going like, this isn't for me. We had a conversation. I'd like had, to hear that, man. We had a conversation the night about, like, how long does it take you? It was like Damian Lemon and Mike Yard and a bunch of us. How long does it take you to feel like you really know what you're doing? And it's like on a paper, like you know, 22 years, you know what you know what you're doing. But like after a bad set, it doesn't feel like you know what you're doing. You're like, I couldn't get them. I don't know what I'm doing because if I knew what I was doing, I would have gotten them, and right. I couldn't. So this, yeah, the seller is great because they don't they don't give a fuck who's on stage. If you're not what they want at that moment, they don't necessarily scream at you, but you know, like, ugh, I and shit the bed. Part of that is because even like somebody like you, who's well known, well, who's known in the U.S. Well, you know, yeah, not, <laughs> not in <laughs> France. We don't know this guy. No, who is he? <laughs> we have no but, idea. But like the seller doesn't necessarily like they'll post on their website, but the audience for the seller is not necessarily like, oh, we're coming to see this comedian. No, they just go and say, oh, there's there's good comedy. That they're hoping for Jerry or Louis, right? Because no, they know that those guys want for there. him. We don't know when he performs there. They have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea. I just kind of come in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't put my name on the list because no. a lot of times I'm not there. His yeah. name is Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Mustafa who worked there. Oh, really? Yeah, he was a, He was my favorite door guy ever. He was a fucking... He would, he would actually just... Uh, if anybody was talking, he would walk over and go, Shh, shut the fuck up. And he would throw them out. He <laughs> no, was but it's great. legendary for throwing people no, out. By the, by the way, that, that, that's great. You know, when you perform, when you try things, you don't want, to, you don't want your, your material to go on, on the internet an hour uh, after that. And also, it's not a good uh, atmosphere when they do that. So yeah. I, I like it. I like it when they, 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 you know, they're rude with people and like, don't film, don't do this. In France, it's so, I mean, they're not doing good if you're if you're Because they have expectations. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Chris Rock always has a very funny line. He'll, the, minute, the second he walks on, he's like, lower your expectations. <laughs> and it gets a laugh, and then he kind of just tells him he's going out of his notebook. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Like you, you, you don't. You're so famous in a lot of other places that you wanted to come here and just 
And, and like, uh, just see, okay, let me see what my stuff does here. The fact that you're doing it in another language is amazing to me. Yeah, and also learning. To be honest with you, um, uh, watching those guys, watching them uh, working and trying bits and, and bombing sometimes and redoing it again. And th this is a new, total new experience to me, you know? Yeah. And obviously you don't do that for money because, as you know, this is not where people make money in clubs. Right. You don't do it for fame or uh, glory and because for really because that's my I've been doing stand up for 22 years now that's funny the other day one of my good friend came to the cellar I said oh only one year and you do stand up I said no <laughs> no <laughs> one year in New York but I've been doing this for 22 years all over Europe yeah that's so <laughs> why did you move to New York I think it was such a ballsy move like I would never leave my comfort because zone because I felt that. Trump was going to be elected <laughs> and I knew I knew <laughs> I knew, guys, the country was going to be something sexy and yeah. more. I knew it. You were the one guy who was like, if Trump gets elected, I'm moving to the I'm U.S. Right. I'm yeah. leaving France. I'm, I'm leaving coming France. To the US. I'm going to the U.S. <laughs> yeah, so you got I got to be a part of this. We're yeah. going to be great again. Yeah, great. I thought it was great. Already great. And now it's even... That's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's the challenge. Really, it's the challenge. I love my life in Paris and I have my family and everything, but... You know, I need this challenge. I want to do stand up. We don't have clubs in 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 France. That's what I was going to ask. What the what the comedy industry is like in France and Europe? You know, the comedy world is so different. We have one comedy club created by a very famous uh, comedian named Jamel Debouze, and um, he did this. And this is the only place where comedians can go and work out some material. So is but, it very competitive there to get on? Yeah, yeah. But they have shows. Even even if they're not big names, they have their own shows. An hour, an hour and thirty minutes. Uh, but like, to to be honest with you, I think there are more uh, here. Oh shit! The word in English. Carol is gonna tell me exigent. Wow. I feel like you're not getting treated the way you're supposed to be treated. Yeah. Like you can go into a rage very easily. And no. I would I would imagine that for you, like the, the these instances where in not just France but many other countries, yeah. you'd be treated like an A list celebrity. You come here and they're like, yeah, your name's not in the system, so I don't think you're. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed <laughs> to be here. But it's good. I like that. You do? Yeah, I like that. Oh, not with not with girls. I mean, with girls, it's it's a problem, you know. <laughs> it is yeah. right. It's a, the the thing I like. I was in LA a few weeks ago. I was in a bar and I was talking to a girl, an American girl, and she was not very eh, interested. And then a bunch of French people walked in the bar. Mm -hmm. They asked me for pictures and autographs, and she got so interested. Yeah. And she came back to me and she said, "Can I buy you a drink?" Oh, good. really? Yeah. <laughs> but isn't that great, though? Like, a lot of people would go, see, you should show her or not do it. But it's like, no, fuck it. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, We're going to seal yeah. this deal now. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. That's that's what, yeah, yeah. yeah, I need that. I need that because I physically, I don't have a whole lot to go on. So they're never going to look at me and go like, wow. So it's always like, whatever it is that gets you in the door is all that matters. No, I absolutely. Think, yeah, I think the thing is the challenge and to start over is really interesting for me. It's a personal thing. It's not only about stand up. It's just starting over, you know, going to the cellar, as Jim said, you know, every night trying bits in English, struggling with the language, trying to make people laugh, earning those laughs because they don't know me, they have no idea. And by the way, the, but when, when, when some French people come to the cellar, it's, it's okay, but I'm not that happy because, you know, I go and say, no, no, no. I'm like, no, please, let me just earn, yeah. earn those. Let me make those American laugh. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's very, very different, too, to try to get laughs now because part of it is that you go on stage in front of an audience that knows who you are and they're just excited to see you. So they're ready to laugh and they're ready yeah, to, but, and, and, but when you go in front of an audience that doesn't know who you are, you don't, you haven't had that in years. No, but okay. You know, it's the same thing. I mean, you, 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 you know, Jim, when some big names show up at the cellar, Chris Rock, Louis CK, Jerry Seinfeld, when they go on stage, the first 30 seconds, it's, it's a madness in the room, but no matter what, who you are and how famous right after those 30 seconds, if you don't give them, it's on you. Man, yeah, <laughs> that's and they even even more more how you say sorry uh, rude with you if if you're. Let's welcome to the show, Gad. Thank you, El Malay. El Malay. El Malay. El Malay. Yeah. That's what I told him. He said El Malay. I said El Malay. Yeah, there's a whole debate about my name. Right? There is, right? Well, Gad is just um, everyone calls you Gad. No one calls you by your last name. Gad. I'm happy to see you, Jim. Good to see you too, buddy. I see you only at night normally. Yeah. At the comedy cellar. Yeah, at night. It is a weird relationship you build up with comedians. It's like you just walk in and you just kind of know each other, but then you realize we've never spent any time together outside of that yeah. room. Yeah, and more than that, I cannot imagine you during the day. I don't know why. Probably because <laughs> I'm creepy and I'm fucking, I'm insect-like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the light, there's too much light. Normally, yeah. 
It's dark. When I see you, it's dark. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> you just don't see him as a productive member of society. <laughs> and that, because generally that stuff happens during the day, like people who contribute. Yeah. yeah that's, that's not Jim. No, that's funny. It's like when you meet your neighbor, you're in a vacation someplace very far from home, and you meet your neighbor. You, you feel you know him, but you don't know him. Right. Really. It's weird because you're seeing him. Hey! Then there's yeah, nothing. Nothing. Because you're seeing them out of the, your, your comfortable location. Right. Like seeing your boss in a store. <laughs> seeing it, when you're a kid, you see your teacher like in the supermarket, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. You know you what I mean? The, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. at the pool, the swimming pool with the bathing suit. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. You're like, I shouldn't be exposed to this. <laughs> And you're starting your tour too. Gad is really funny. Um, you, you're, uh, it's called Oh My Gad uh, U.S. Tour. It begins January 19th in Denver. So go to his website, which is Gad Elmala E L Elmala E L M A L E H. It's okay, you know. I'm used to com. it. I know, but people got to know how to get to it. You want. By the to... way, at the cellar, every night the host they ask me how do you say your name. So I tell them one second before they go on stage, and they screw up my name every, every night. time. <laughs> every time. Does that drive you crazy? That like. You've packed out like arenas. Yeah. And then you come here and the guy at the cellar doesn't know how to pronounce your name. No, the guy here, guys, at the security didn't <laughs> let me in today. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why would they say? I don't know. I, they said, are you sure we don't have your name? How do you say your last name? I'm sorry. Show me your ID. That never happens in France, but it's very humbling. I like that. We were talking. <laughs> yeah, you, you moved here. Yeah. That's crazy. Because we were talking before you came in about how that like... Ego builds up, and when you they do it and they film, they do the whole thing. Going, yeah, you can't yell. You don't really yell at the audience in France. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, it's again. I think this, this thing to improvise and crowd work, you have to come up with good things because yeah. if you go with the easy and the cheap things, we all all done so many things and tried things with the crowd but you need to be very point you i don't know the word but you know precise yes it's like doing jo jokes on trump right now right i mean come on guys uh, you have to come up with the very funny uh, joke about Absolutely. Trump because everything has been done try right. saying the stupid thing oh he's stupid and he's gonna no come up with crazy thing the opposite i don't know do something creative right I, I'm I'm kind of tired of those jokes like oh he's stupid he's not he's no okay it's the, it is the same point of view because you've heard it, it uh, from everybody yeah. when the point of, like when as soon as somebody opens their mouth if you know exactly where it's like ugh. yeah and by the way maybe that's a premise for something maybe uh, I said it just like that but maybe I could work on something like I knew Trump was going to be elected that's why I moved I was about to say I think that's funny when you said that yeah I'm, and, and, and then, I was like there's one there's not that many funny Trump jokes left but that was. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are three, I think. I, I, I got, I got to do you do the... any political stuff? A uh, little, not a lot. When I'm in France, more obviously, but you right. know, not not yet. Not not not. Because I feel like you know, like like with the Daily Show now, like that's what has hindered Trevor Noah is that you know you criticize American politics, which is what the show was always about, but people don't necessarily want to see. American politics get criticized by someone oh. with an accent. Yeah, it really does fucking people get really annoyed Is it a tip that you're giving me right now? Well, you said you don't do that. I don't I, but I, if you did do that I'd never do that <laughs> <laughs> well, I never do that. Right. I think America is great and it's yeah. a big opportunity for me as a French Moroccan <laughs> Jew to be able to perform every night in that wonderful country. <laughs> yeah, after all the success worldwide. I can do the army, anything you want. <laughs> yeah, it is funny when guys come over. And polit political stuff is great, but sometimes some guys are fucking, like they just stand there and harp on it for like 20 minutes. It's so funny just to watch the crowd go, ugh. I, I want to yeah. ask you something that I ask to every comedian. I, I, I was...